Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. In case you were unaware, there is actually a small troubleshooting utility for Windows updates created by Microsoft called the WU Show Hard, which is also known as the Windows Show All Hard Updates tool. Now, I personally have used this tool for many years now with my Windows updates, and it's safe, and I've never experienced any issues uh, using the tool. And basically what it is, it's a troubleshooting utility for Windows updates, which is also a standalone um, uh, tool, so it doesn't have to be installed onto your device, created by Microsoft for Windows devices. So it is compatible on both Windows 10 and 11. And what it does is it allows you to show or hide any uh, Windows updates on your system. Now, although I don't recommend not installing uh, Windows updates, especially your automatic compulsory security updates, which roll out on the second Tuesday of every month called Patch Tuesday. Um, as many of you know, there are updates that can cause issues and compatibility issues um, on Windows devices. And what this tool uh, will do, and it, where it's very handy, is it will hide the update from showing under Windows Update and actually prevent it from being downloaded and installed onto your system. If you are um, getting an update that is causing issues on your system and keeps wanting to be downloaded and installed or for any update for that matter that could be just appearing all the time on your system and is just becoming annoying and a nuisance. Now, uh, now, although you can pause, as many of you know, uh, updates on Windows, what this tool will actually do is it will let you hide the update for as long as you want. Not just pause it for a certain number of days, but you can hide the update for as long as you want, thereby preventing it from being downloaded and installed. And then you can also show the update um, in the future down the line if you do require the update in the future. So it is a reversible process. Now, the, the actual reason for this video um, was just the other day I had to in uninstall .NET Core 3.1 from my Windows 10 device as the app that used it didn't require it anymore. But the update kept reappearing, although I had uninstalled it, the update kept reappearing. So I decided to use uh, the tool again, which I hadn't used for quite some time, and thought, you know what, there might be some um, viewers and users out there who actually don't know that this tool exists, and it's actually quite handy. So just to demonstrate how it actually works, is you would obviously first have to download it, and I will leave the download link in the description um, down below. Um, and then once it's downloaded, you just go find the the, uh, the tool uh, in your download location. And as mentioned, it's standalone, so it doesn't get installed. And then you just double click on it, which will um, open the first menu, which says troubleshoot and help prevent computer problems. Show or hard updates. Select the updates that Windows will install automatically. And what I do suggest is just click on advanced and check apply repairs automatically. And then you click next. Now, depending on your system and hardware. This could take a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes to search your system for relevant updates um, um, on your device. So just be patient as it could take, as I say, a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes depending on your system. So let's just give that a second or two and then you will see the next screen appear which says show or hard updates. Updates improve the security and performance of your computer but if an update isn't working you can temporarily hide it as mentioned. Windows will not install hidden updates automatically. And then you go to this section, hard updates, and it says Windows will not install hidden updates. You, you click on that. Now you can see it says in my case now there are no updates available to hide because I have no updates um, um, that are uh, relevant at this stage to hide. So it's not picking any up. But if it does and there is an update that keeps reappearing in your Windows update, it will appear um, in the tool listed here. And then what you do is you just check the box, which will hide the update, and you go next. And then it will take you to the next screen, which says update fixed or something similar to that. And then the update will be hidden. And then you can just close the, uh, the actual um, tool. And then just to demonstrate, in my case, as I said, I hid .NET Core 3.1, the update for that just a couple of days ago. So if we go back, if you want to go see your hidden updates, you double click on the tool again, you go next. Once again, it'll search and um, just give it a couple of seconds or uh, a minute or two, just depending on your hardware and your system. Searching for updates. And then when it goes to the next screen again, this time 
you click on show hidden updates and it says select updates that you want Windows Update to automatically install. You, you uh, click on that and here's the updates that are hidden. So any updates listed here will not appear under Windows Update uh, on both Windows 10 and 11 and thereby will not be installed on your system. And as mentioned, Yasma.net Core 3.1 update that kept appearing and now is hidden. And as mentioned, I can hide this for as long as I want. And uh, um, if you want to show the update again, you just check the box, go next, and it will show the update again. And then um, I'm just going to go next again because I'm not I actually, I don't want to show the update again. And once again, there you go. Um, you can give feedback on this troubleshooter, close the troubleshooter, and then you can just close the app out automatically. So I thought, I mean, this video, I'll just show you that. Um, and don't get this confused with the built-in troubleshooter that comes built into both Windows 10 and 11 as the update troubleshooter. This is a, a independent tool created by Microsoft, standalone tool, a standalone tool called Windows Show or Hard Updates, as mentioned, that will prevent any updates from showing that you no longer require in Windows Update and thereby preventing them from being downloaded and installed onto your system and your device. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.